Hey guys, it's Danny here with 937 Woodworks. Hey, I wanted to make a quick video. Um, everybody tips their hat into the making money with woodworking. And how I got into it is I followed Matt over at 731 Woodworks, his plan, and maybe added a few things to my plan. But I just wanted to show you guys a couple ways to make money. And a lot of guys, when they get in, they think they have to have the biggest and the best stuff in order to make lots of money. And I've learned the hard way, when you do things like that, you're going to have a hard time recouping the money. If you go out and get credit cards and this and that, uh, at first, I do got a decent customer base here in Ohio, but um, you're better off to take a gift rather than go try to spend a bunch of money on wood i've had people offer me wood i'd look at it turn it down oh, i can't use that now though i look at it and think wow could i use this wood so yesterday i went to the the gas station and they had bought a new beer cooler and the crate was actually all these one by 12s and one by eights and uh one by fours you know and it just so happened that on one of my bars I'm working on, and let me show you this, one of my bars I'm working on is gonna use those one by fours. I built this table, this end table, completely out of that scrap wood. It's all built out of the scrap wood. So if you wanna think of it like this, that scrap wood is making me $200 in end tables it's making me $300 in this bar and any other items I need to work on. I have made lots of money. It's proven that if you try to save and be thrifty and do what you can to cut corners and cut costs, that's a, that's a sign of a good entrepreneur, businessman, somebody that can do things like that. If you always continuously spending money and going out and buying expensive stuff you'll eventually realize that you can't get ahead trying to uh, do woodworking because there will be periods where you slow down like i i once i finish these jobs here i'm going to hit a slow point yes i can uh relist and relist and run new ads and and stuff like that but i'm just gonna say i'm hitting a slow point so until I get more business in which it won't take long but I'm just saying it this has been the first time since I started woodworking that I haven't had any business to do so and like I said I'm not done yet and I might get more jobs along them but but a woodworker's got to learn to be crafty and try to do things they can do to get wood especially with the prices right now I got over $200 in wood last night for free. All I had to do is take the staples out of it. I mean, this board right here, it's not a perfect board by no means, but I'm gonna take wood filler. I'll put wood filler on that. It's gonna be painted black, so you'll never know those were there. I'm gonna cut it and, and paint it black, so you'll never, you'll never even see those. Um, this table, it's not perfect by no means, but I wanna show you the the uh, tabletop I made out of this tabletop here came from that wood there. So that's what I'm saying. You can do beautiful, beautiful tables and furniture with recycled wood. I personally don't like the skids or the pallets because they tear your tools up. They got sand and pee and spit and feces and everything else on them. So... I don't personally like skids, but if you see something like this or you see a construction site that's throwing a bunch of two by fours away in the dumpster, two by fours in Ohio right now are nine seventy three uh two by four. In the winter they were five dollars a two by four. So um a one by six like this is right now a one by six like this right here right now is um I wanna say it's eleven or twelve dollars for one. I want to say it's 1073. I'll have to look at a receipt. I'll put it in the description below. And that's Ohio prices. I don't know what prices are in other places. But, and all this lumber ain't free. This lumber here, I've bought some of it. But these two big pieces of 2x12s, 
they're, they're, they were free. I mean, and I just bought, I would say, seven last month and paid $170 for them. So, I mean, that goes to show you how, and there's little scraps too that I got out of there that I picked out, little scraps. But don't be above taking your, don't be above getting the wood that you need. I still, like all these right here, these are all one by fours that came out of that. I have to pull the staples out. So what? Why look a gift horse in the mouth? Just take it, take it, pull the pull the staples out and use them. I mean, it's it's big money. Like uh, the time that bar's done, that's a lot of money. And you know, I can sh I can prove the money b by Square and by uh, Venmo because it, it's it's real. When when you see these guys on YouTube saying you can make money 3D printing, you can make money doing this. You gotta watch what you're what you're following and getting into business following behind. But it, I, Matt, Bourbon, a lot of these guys can prove to you that you can make a lot of money in woodworking, and it's it's simple. I mean, you don't have to make big tables or or big bars. You can make um, small things to sell cornhole sets there's so many wood projects that can be made out of this a cornhole set is a couple two by fours and some plywood on top with a take your router and cut a hole in the top for a beanbag to fall in follow the measurements um you can make uh the flags that they're still hugely popular now i'm seeing crosses like the flags that uh ha are painted blue and with stars on them there's so many so many um things and ideas you can do quilt racks noodle boards um i since i started have always had big jobs to do which i'm wanting to get away from that a little bit because i look at it like this if i can take two two three days and build a coffee tables and, and set of end tables and coffee tables and make 600 bucks in two days. I would much rather do that than spend two weeks building a bar. You gotta, you gotta kind of be smart when you're looking at the money too. So, and the reason I'm looking at this wood and not me is I'm just, I'm just letting you guys see that I want you to see that you can buy and do good with the money you make off of this. I mean, I got plenty of tools in this garage. I got plenty of tools, all the tools that a woodworker needs. But my point is, you you wanna try to be thrifty in the areas that you can and not go crazy. I was shocked when the guy told me to take that wood. Yeah, some of it was junk, like, like this right here. But I thought, you know what? He's nice enough to give me the, the board. I'll go ahead and take it and destroy it for him. Let's see, this board right here. I said, and plus look, look how much of it. That whole part right there is good, but right here it gets nasty. So I'll cut that off and, and I'll throw the rest away or burn it. I mean, it's not a big deal. That's what I'm saying. So guys, there is money to be made off of being thrifty. Thrifty is the way to go. If you talk to a rich person, you don't get rich by going out and spending top dollar on everything. So, all right, guys. Well, I just wanted to give you a quick video on how to make money being thrifty and using scrap and refurbished wood and wood you pick up anywhere you can get it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. God bless and God bless the police and the uh, military. Thank you.